So I don't think there's a real analog for what Paul's doing anywhere, which is part of why I think people have a hard time understanding it, but it's part of what makes it important. Just layers and layers and layers of software, complex adaptive systems. So the X and Y, the Z motor first, this is the optical encoder. Each line here is one brush stroke. And this is just a spring from a screen door. <laughs> Before I ever saw the art, or what Paul was capable of without Dulcinea, I was captivated by the idea of how far the boundary could be pushed. You want to find out what the constraints are, what the limitations are, and if you can override them. I think artists are more able to comprehend and process tragedy than most people. And for Paul, the painting that he did allowed him to explore it and to be able to touch parts of it that might be too difficult for most people to touch. And I realized doing this painting uh, was my way of handling my grief. I love robotics and building things with my hands. And I also love programming and I love software and exploring new ways to create paintings. Paul said, if I were to produce the same kinds of art, I would only have ever discovered one thing about what's possible. And I want to discover everything about what's possible.